hello everyone this is Asia Marif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to make this type of vintage logo and for the just restaurant and you can make this logo uh, easily by this tutorial so let's start the tutorial if we start my tutorial please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's start at first i'll go to the file and take a new options and from the new I'll take the canvas which is 2560 and 1440 here the resolution will be 200 pixel if you want to print it out you have to make it the CMYK color mode and then hit the OK button okay that's fine and then I'll add background like uh, just here place embedded options and I'll add background like this so I'll make it bigger and hit the tick button and I'll apply another color over this background and I'll restylize this one and adjustment layer and solid color and I'll choose the color that is the deep blue color and the color code is 0C121C hit the OK button you have that assumption that you can just double click over here you can change this one as your wish so I'm just keeping the before okay and let the opposite down a little bit for the transparency and I want to show the background of this texture that's why so I'm just making these three things in a group and giving the name of this group BG BG for background and right press here and giving the color the orange color and after that I'll write down something over here and I'll make the logo fulfilled okay after that go to the circle here is the options the shapes and I'm ellipse tool U from the keyboard and just draw a shape press the shift or alter button and you'll get the proper circle like that 3.9 inch okay but I'll turn off the fill color here give the stroke color like white and make the position the of the circle in a middle so what should I do press ctrl a select all the things and make sure that the move tool is on and select the middle alignment from right to left and top to bottom middle alignment ctrl D for the deselect and then I'll write down here like this the Dhaka food and the lower portion of the text so here and I have to write down in a round way so for that here is the path option if you don't get this option over here you have to go to the window and path you will get this one so and double click here it will make copy and hit the ok button and select this select actually select here and then go to the text tool and horizontal type tool and when you are getting the like slide like that this type of I'm zooming in here this type of sign then just click once and change the color like white and I'll write down the Dhaka Dhaka food okay control a select control a and check in the middle alignment all the things and go to the character options here's the character option if you don't get this one over here you have to go to the window and you'll get the character over here and then I'll make the size of the font bigger like how bigger like that yeah that's good and the gap between the letters I'll increase yeah that's good and hit the tick button yeah that's fine and now the lower portion so I have to make copy of this one here the path options and double click here and hit the ok button it will copy and then again go to the text tool horizontal text tool and in the lower portion when you are getting the shape like that the slice or sign like that and just click once and the write down like that the taste or taste of the life I will write down like that so taste of life okay but this one is not uh, properly like that so what sh what should I do 
okay i'm just going to the move tool and then select this one the taste this path the taste of life this one select here and go to the direct selection tool here and zoom in when you're getting here the double dots and this one the double arrow and just drag this one and when you are getting this just yeah that's good okay but this one is not uh, properly like that so here is the options the you can just take it the upper side and properly will be yeah now this one is aligned okay now back to layer options here our the dhaka food and the taste of life this one but i want to make the font size of dhaka the upper one i'll make it increase or bigger yeah that's good okay i'm just making it 30 that's good okay and now just you can delete this ellipse yeah i'll delete this one and now i'll write down something like uh, this one the the food and i'll write it down uh, go to the text tool and simply write down this one so the food okay. select this one and go to the character options and i'll change the just font like this the autumn in november and i'll give you that font link in my video description so check it out and i'll make the size of the font bigger hit the tick button and go to the move tool and just make it in a proper alignment so i have to make it more bigger yeah that's good yeah but i need to make this font size smaller yeah that's good and this one as well as the smaller like that so now that's cool okay i downloaded this icon from the flaticon.com and i'll provide you the icon link so here i downloaded this one go to the file options and open up and here the shape and the width width then yeah i'll just take it in this here and press ctrl t make it smaller like this so in a middle alignment so make it smaller like that and unlock this one double click for unlock and right press blending options and change the color mode so color overlay so here are the options i'll pick up this color so here is the color code and i'll provide that color code so i'm picking up the color code from here yeah this one the ffc seven to c so that's the color code of this wheat so double press over here and the color overlay option select here and just paste the color code and hit ok and hit the ok and after that press ctrl j for the another copy of this layer and press ctrl t and right press and flip horizontally and it will be horizontal so after that just make the width like this and hit the tick button and select these two things and make the proper alignment in a just down alignment and make group and press ctrl a and this one is not middle of the write up so i'll make it like this that's fine and now i'll write down this one the estate 2020 2020 so take a new text tool and write down normally and in this case i'll take the nexa bolt and write down the est dot 2020 okay and then here is the character option and now make the character like a gap between the two letters zero and make the size of this one and that is the 12 that's good and then place it in the middle yeah that's good so just place all the things in the middle for this yeah that's good and uh, this one and this one as well so like that's good yeah our logo is ready if you want to 
get to export this one in a png format so turn off the background all the things and you can just select all the things and go to the file and save as options and then make it the png format and png format you know that the like a transparent background like that so you can make it jpg as well so it's up to you so i'm turning on the bg and now how to add the props props means the like tomato and the leaves and here i downloaded this one from the png uh, kiss png and i'll give you that download link in my video description so i downloaded this one okay and then you can just make it like this press ctrl e and you can rotate it out and make it smaller like that and you can place this one and hit the ok button you can just decorate your screen like that you can just provide these thing to your client for the feedback and you can use it and you have to change the color of this in the dab foot so select this one and go to the character again and just click here and pick up the color that is the yellow color this color and hit the ok button now logo is fulfilled if you want to add some drop shadow so select this this one again right press ring options and now the drop shadow yeah you can adjust the drop shadow like this so here is the options the opacity and the distance that's fine and the size of the distance that's good and hit ok and you can just apply this effect to all the things so right press and copy the layer style and select here the taste of the life and just paste the layer style and same in a dhaka food paste the layer style yeah you are getting the pop-up type write up and if you want you can just use all the things over here so i should make the alignment properly these icons that means this one and this one and make it in the middle yeah that's good and now our logo portion that's this one to this one so making it group and giving the name logo and i'm just making another color that is the yellow and that is the props of this so our logo is done i'm saving this one logo food yeah that's good and this control is and to make it the raw format or jpeg format so here is the jpeg format and i'll save it for you and there's the three megabyte and i can change the like yeah that's cool and hit the ok button so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video i may say signing out today and bye bye